Okay, no, 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 no. Event during while fighting the locks. I think I should have used the Draugr Fang by this point. Great. I really wanted this. With all my heart. Ooh, that was a super bad roll. That, that was a super bad dodge roll. But these guys are rendered useless with this armor. What the heck? Okay. And speaking of the devil, that's the second event in a row. And we are back. Welcome back everyone to another episode of our hardcore permadeath challenge. We're doing bow only this time. So welcome back, episode number 21. Wow, I wouldn't think that I could uh, actually make it this far. So we're just picking up right where we left. I've created this small little outpost outside the plains. And I wanted to have it here because on the plains I'm scared of dead skinners. <laughs> so let me just get my rested buff really quick here. Then we can grab some wood and we can actually set the... I will have a good night rest uh, sleep. What am I talking about? <laughs> we can sleep here for over the night and uh, get rested in the morning. We can figure everything else out. Now I want to go grab the boat and go grab my uh, resources from the other base. Here's the thing. I don't think I can... Uh, Hold on. Yeah, let's just grab some wood really fast. I don't care about feathers nor nothing. Just here for the wood. So we can have a nice bed there and we can uh, sleep at night. After that, I'm just gonna go quickly with the boat, grab everything from the other base that I need, which is uh, the forge. Wait. Hey, I've heard a goblin laughing. Oh, there he is. So these guys aren't the main problem in the plains. The main problem in the plains are actually the... Hold on, let's get this going. The raids. So only the raids are the problem. The rest of them are just... Uh, small things here and there. So I can take care of the enemies, I can take care of everything. Okay, now that we got that covered, let's have a nice bed here. We're gonna have a bed. Wait, we can have the workbench right there. We can have the bed here near the main thingy. Now please don't laugh at my bed, it's gonna be the worst looking bad ever. <laughs> it will be just functional. Hopefully. I have a lot of hope in my heart. So I'm just gonna go for this. Yes! Okay, I'll catch you. Oh no. <laughs> I'll catch you in the morning. I can't catch you in the morning. There are enemies nearby. Which enemies now? Though? Those are those count like enemies? What enemies? Don't scare me, friend. Come on, next are no enemies? What's wrong with this game? Okay. Catch you in the morning. Okay, and it's morning. Okay, what, now one thing that I want to do... Drop everything around here. Is my SSU down? Okay, it's off. Which is good. I need to go and grab my boat and go and grab my stuff from the other base, so uh, when I'll be there... Actually, we're gonna come the other way around, because it looks like we can come the other way around with the boat. So after I have all the items that I need for the small little outpost here... Uh, we're gonna continue and we're gonna actually go into the plains. We're gonna go having... Uh, we're gonna go and meet, greet the enemies in the plains. Okay, so let me back up here really quick. And I'll catch you whenever we get back home.
after about 10 minutes of sailing around without the wind in our favor. Finally made it back home. So right here I just want to quick, 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 quick. Let's eat first. I <laughs> just want to grab all the resources that I need. I should have brought them ahead and used the boat, but then again I didn't know if I was going to find the planes. So without the map is a bit difficult and with no portals, um, yeah. Saying a bit difficult, it's an understatement. What do you want? Wow, okay, so you don't get staggered. You want to tell me that you don't get staggered? With the Draugr Fang and Frost Arrows. The skeleton, the one star skeleton doesn't get staggered. Although I chunked like 75% of his HP. Fine, it's, it's fine, it's fine. So the game has its own rules now, it's, it's okay. But yeah, I, I, I could have... I, I, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is that it, have, it would have been impossible for me to uh, plan all of these ahead. So it is what it is at this point. I also have the hoe with me, so we're fine. Oh, this is how safety looks like. But yeah, unfortunately we're not going to spend too much time in here. Okay, so I am going to drop most of my items, including the food, Hold on. in the... We're going to sleep on it in those chests. Planes. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, let's just sleep on it and figure out everything else in the morning. At the same time, I will... Uh, I will go the other way around, because this is a circular island. We'll go the other way around, and we'll land perfectly with the boat. We don't need to transport the boat, damage it and everything else, and destroy it. That's an option too. So we're just gonna need my cart. Let me just place my cart here, in a good position. Maybe we're gonna get an event too. Fingers crossed. Okay. So we're going to take our car to the boat, we're going to load it up nicely with everything that's required to um, actually thrive in there, I guess. Including the cultivator. Because I do need to set up a farm in there. So let's see, let's think this through very, very well. So I do need the cultivator. I might need some extra food. And I might need to go farm some more serpents. Yeah, yeah, we're running low on serpent meat. I do need to farm more serpents. So I will do that off the camera because there's no real danger from farming serpents. I will show you when I find them. If I find them, I'm going to show you each and every single one of them. Oh, we can unequip this to get some extra speed. Nice. Okay, so things things to let me think this through. Let's see what we need. So we need them arrows in there. We need the food. Okay, we need the bile bombs, all the meads. Can split these in two for now to gain some more weight, to gain some more um, inventory space, and also more carry weight. Right. Um, I need to test some theories here. Ingots. I need six. We need uh, four coal, four stone. Was the ten wood to get the forge? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, I know for a fact that I can't repair this. I can't repair them at a normal forge. Oh, hold on. The forge is actually. <laughs> Level 2 right there. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, so we can repair the Huntsman, but the Draugr Fang requires... I think it would require this. 5 wood, 2 bronze. This is the easiest that we can do. Okay, let's see here. 5 wood, 2 bronze. We can do that. It's easy. Okay, now we can repair the Dragger Fang. Whew. What about the armor, though? Can I repair the armor, too? Okay, we'll see. I'm not gonna bring anything else. We're just gonna wing it with these. As for the workbench... I already have a workbench there. 
I'm going to bring some flint to have the first upgrade. I don't know if it's needed. Like, for what do I need that for? I don't need that for anything else. Nah, we're good. For the root harness. Is it repaired on the workbench? I don't know. Okay, we'll... Um, <laughs> just in case. But what am I talking about? We do have flint over there. It's, it's fine. What I don't have is the next upgrade. So I might do that. We can grab nine of these. We can grab 20 of these. And let's have some extra... Some extra... Where is this? The fight with... Okay, we can have this. We can have a banner. Six, two. Six scraps. Two wood and uh, one... Cool. Side so two extra wood and four coal. Okay, we're good on that. We have the banner. What else? What else? What else? Can we improve it any further? Ten iron nails. I do believe I have some iron nails remaining through here. No. <laughs> okay, so I can't do that. Can I do the armor stand? Where is the armor stand? Still four iron nails. Oh, screw it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's just do this. It's gonna have some iron nails for the throne. Okay, now we need 20. 20 fine wood. Now we have the Raven throne too. The only thing that I need. Can I drop this in there? No. Okay, it's fine. We can do this though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the only thing that I need is, 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 is the armor stand. So I'm gonna do that too, believe it or not. Because <laughs> I'm desperate about the rested buff. I won't be able to get a good rested buff in there. Since I'm not, I don't have my bed there, so then I don't have the heart there. So I'll have to try and get the most juice that I can get from these things. Okay, now in here, um, let's see. I just need four. With eight fine wood. And two of these. Keep messing them up. Good. Okay, now we're good. We can go back. So let's see, I have the forge with me, wood I can find wood there. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, I've lost the beads. Okay. So I can find wood there, the rest, yada yada yada. I have the upgrades, the forge, some arrows. I think we're good to go at this point. Let's go. I do believe I need some extra wood here. Yeah. So we can have our extended platform. Please don't give me a raid right now. Or give me a raid right now. <laughs> don't give me a raid later. Or I can't do anything about it. Hold on. I'm gonna make make this safe again. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. What am I doing? I almost... <laughs> oh my god. I almost did something bad there. So we're in for some exploration in the plains. When we run about uh, this, when we have three foods of each left, we're gonna stop right there and start see, hunting serpents. But there might be a few days since I, can't, I can only hunt them at night. So there might be a few days spent hunting serpents, but that's fine. Now the serpent meat is an uh, absolute must have at all times here, so if you don't have Serpent Mint, don't even bother. I feel way safer with that much HP. I would obviously feel less safer with less HP. <laughs> okay, prepare this. Bring this a bit closer to the shore, please. Thank you, that's it. Okay, now heavy stuff. Let's load them up really nice in here. 
What else is heavy? Besides everything. Okay, we're good, we're good to go. I do believe we're good to go. So we now have our arrows here. And everything else. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'll be right back with you once we actually get back to our little outpost. Okay, and I'll catch you there. Okay, uh, there's some action going right here with some death skittos. And I fear that my, they might come for me too. I'm very fearful. So they're right there. Okay. I think we might be getting away from them. We might, might, might have gotten away from them. I'm not 100% sure though. <laughs> Right, so let me just grab everything from the boat. Okay, we're already carrying too much. Good. So it's going to be an entire mess down here until I figure things out. But basically, I'm just transporting stuff from one boat to one base. Wait, what am I... <laughs> what have I grabbed? Okay. So once we are gonna have our outpost here, nice and cozy. Oh, come on, come on. We'll just start building in the planes. And we're gonna go for the small... You know, for this small structure that you're gonna see here. Just gonna call, call them wormholes. Or have, maybe if you find a better name, pits, something with pits, life pits, death pits, call them whatever you want. But the, these will actually kill me, keep me, kill me? They might actually kill me. I wanted to say that these will uh, keep me safe on the planes, in the planes. Right, so let's just grab the rest of the resources from the boat and start building some form of shelter here. Just nothing, you know, I'm not gonna make anything special, anything crazy right here. Just gonna wing it. Okay, I'm looking for a good spot for the base. No room in inventory. Okay, what can I build? Oh, come on, don't do this to me. I need the fine wood. Okay, we can do this. I can do this. It's okay if the next attack my boat. I can hear it being destroyed. Actually, it's not okay. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna have we're gonna have a problem. Are we gonna have a problem with you guys? Neck tails for days. We might have a problem with them. So we kind of need to settle down here, but like I said, in this episode we're definitely going for some planes, we're going to explore some planes. Now I'm not going to build, I'm going to clear that outpost, I'm not going to build anything else because that's kind of super safe against wolves. We're going to have that one right there, that small little outpost. I'm going to build, like I said, structures like this one every now and then, just to keep us safe. Okay, the cart. No, I don't need the cart right now with me. So let me figure... Okay, so things are a bit clumsy here. Hold on. Let's see, coal. No matter what, I'm gonna need a chest. I'm gonna need a chest or two because I can't do this. I'm, I'm not used to doing this. Every, every single item spread everywhere. Okay. Also, I have no inventory room, so uh, let me grab these in here. Okay. It's fine, we can stay up all night. It's We're safe against raids. Okay. Now, with everything in here, let's discuss the following aspect. 
What are we going to do about... I'm not going to need these. What are we going to do about Yagloth? <laughs> I guess <laughs> I still need to search for Yagloth. Okay, I kind of hate the fact that the Draugr village is here. It kind of makes me a bit... Bugs me. Okay, so more Nax have spawned. Just right there. You, sir. Hold on. Okay, everybody's calmed down now. Can I can I get on with my plan here? Okay. We can sleep on it. Let's sleep on it. It's everything it's better during the morning. So we, we need flint, we need everything to get our, our workbench going and um, eventually we'll have a small little outpost here. Yeah, good morning indeed. So let me see what I can slap my forge. I do need the coal for the forge. Now we're gonna have the forge here. It's fine. Okay, what else? Uh, I do need this, I do need this for the forge. We also need a small roof for it. Okay, forge working. Nice. Okay, this needs a roof too. Okay. Now. What do I, oh, oh, right, 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 right. I've brought some items for... Um, <laughs> okay, for some extra comfort here. Have the rug. Are we sheltered here? Aha! Uh -huh. So we are sheltered in here. Okay, we can have that, we can have this. We can have a banner. Okay, what else? Oh, we can have the throne. With the throne too? Yeah, that's definitely better. Much better. Okay, let's wait for the good rested buff. And we can start worrying about everything else. I just want to grab some flint, nothing fancy here, just be outside the base, grab some flint. Also have some stairs here so we can climb easier into this structure, into this outpost. I'm gonna have stairs on uh, all sides, I guess. Let's see here. Now, I kinda don't need the ooze bombs with me right now, but I might forget to grab them <laughs> after this. So, arrows will definitely be with us all time. So we have kinda have to figure things out like this. Okay, no matter what, I need flint, I need to make this base a bit safe. We can go... We can go like this. And then I can climb here. Okay. On this side. And go like this. And on the far side, I have no workbench. can go like this. Okay, we have the root armor, so in case and death keto comes this way. We can also try and snipe the locks from here. Because I kind of need their meat. We're going to need to have some storage here, some chests. All the good stuff. We're running out of wood. I need to have this some somewhat covered, just in case. That might actually kill the fire. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you know what? I didn't want to do this. But I have no choice.
Okay. I think the fire is sheltered for, for rain, from rain and everything else. Okay. Oh, come on. I have to stop doing this. I have to stop pressing E on the chest. We have the card. Now I just need to grab some flint. So if I could just grab some flint, I'd be super happy. There, flint. So flint shouldn't actually be a problem since we are near the meadows. This is super perfect. Having meadows near this is, is just insanely good. I also gonna need a lot of stone with me. Might be actually able to grab some stone in the in the plains too. For my uh, safe little outposts or I don't know, I I think I should have I think I should find a name for those. I'm gonna grab the necktails too. They're super important later. We do have a ton of them, but uh, it's always good to have extra more. Because if I die, it's not like I'm gonna lose every single thing in here, so... <laughs> all this work, imagine, like, all this work can be in vain. Going on and playing Valheim with this thought in your mind, how does, how does that make you feel? Because um, it kind of wears me down, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So it kind of wears me down. Okay, let's see. We can now have the upgrades. Yay! That's kind of in the way. What am I missing? Oh, wood. One piece of wood. Okay, hopefully now I can repair my root harness here. Harness sack or harness. Please, God, once and for all, is harness. Come on. <laughs> this is the weirdest looking base you will ever see in Valheim. Is it effective? No. Why have I done this? For lack of better occupation, I guess. Okay, so it's time to hit the planes. It's time to hit the planes and hit them hard. Let's save. Let's get the SSAO going. We have the chest here to store supplies. I have the hoe, I should have the hoe up there. I need some stone. But like I said, the first outpost is the one that we can actually see from here. I could use a raid right now, so I don't get raided when I when we leave this place. I also want some locksmith, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna get that. We'll see. Usually, things will go smooth from here. Having all this planned. Of course it's a misty weather. Now should I use this? Should I use this? Should I, I think let's go for this. Okay, no, 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 no. Event during while fighting the locks. Ooh, we're not doing this. Okay, so we, I was talking about the events that just started. Wow, look at that. Thing is, I don't have any frost resistance with me. And I forgot about this event. I think we should be fine. If it's just the blobs. Yeah. If it's just the blobs, we should be relatively safe. But oh, come on. Screw you. I was just saying, like, <laughs> we're safe. Damn it. So here I am guarding the fort. Yeah, these guys can jump on my ladders, but they're they're really harmless. At least we're getting more ooze, which I totally need. So there, I just wanted to explore the planes and we get our first raid. It's good that we got this. Cause now the next raid will be around 14 minutes. I also need to get more food. So yeah, we got our first locks. I want to get the other one too, because they're kind of in the way right there. Oh, 
Oh goodness. This guy is gonna jump. It's gonna jump right in here. Why have I slept on the poison resistance meat? I keep forgetting about this event. Now if these guys hit me and I have no poison resistance. Okay, the smell's gone. How have I messed that? Okay guys, we have um <laughs> we have ooze for days now. We can have a ton of bombs. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I've never seen this up close or in the sunlight. Scrap iron? No thanks. I'm good. I don't need to get some extra food, though. Okay, where's my food at? Let's grab four of each. Like I said, we might run low on food. But I hope you're, you're very understanding that this is super scary for me. I'm also gonna need the rest of the buff again. So I was hindered. We couldn't... Oh, it's time to go to sleep. Nice. I definitely don't want to start going into the plains. Um. Okay. So you really want to make me do this, huh? Stop attacking my boat. Okay, I'm sorry. I th this is this must be done. I'm I. These guys are really annoying, they're bugging me. Hold on. So we can see actually in here. Is there any in here now? There's not in here. Okay, no spawner there, but there are spawners in here, I'm sure of it. Who's the better archer between the two of us? Now imagine if I have to go through the swamp with this gear. Those feel like a walk in the park. Actually, we can go for some entrails. There are a lot of... Uh, see, these guys are killing all the animals in here. We could go for some entrails. But it's fine. Now in here, there's I'm certain that there's a spawner. The archer and does the drug elite. Where are you? Look how many were in here. There was a bunch of them in here. And I'm flying through my frozen arrows, so I might need to go back to the base to go <laughs> grab some more. Okay, let's go grab the locks. Come on. Yeah, the, the another annoying thing is that the monsters, you're gonna get a far more monsters on this mode than on the normal one. Okay, so this guy just started destroying some uh, crops in here or something. Not crops, but... Is this level 4? 250. 250. Okay, we're good. Actually, I need... I need this. Oh, come on. Let me use the Huntsman bow. Huntman's bow. That was an almost a shot. Okay, I almost landed that shot. So, we just want to grab the other locks, bring it here. Oh, 
I love the fact that the frost arrows are can't keep these guys at bay. They're also super fast. They <laughs> since they gain 50% extra extra movement speed, they're super fast. That area should be safe right now. If more locks don't spawn, that is. Okay, so let me just drop these items because I don't want them with me right now. What I do want is uh, 40. We can grab that on the planes, actually. Let's just go there. Oh, I need to find my courage. Okay, so in theory, I should I should have everything that I need. Have my bow out. Just in theory, because in practice we might super super we might be super dead here soon. So <laughs> that can be the end of the run right here. Okay, someone is killing. Uh, this is another cool thing because since there are monsters in here, what's with the darkness around this patch of land? Okay, that's a death keto. That's gonna come for me. Because it's aggroed. I don't think that that Skeeter spotted me yet. Let's aggro. Let's aggro them all. I could use them in here, like, if they are gonna come and chase me. I'm done with that. So one goes down. I can secure my, uh... Where are you? Where are you? Ha ha! Got ya. Like I said, this bow is really, really powerful. Okay, this might not actually be it. What's this? A ton of ooze? Okay, stuff that I don't need right now is this wood on me. So there, we are actually playing on planes. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we need to clear this tower no matter what. Hey there! Because with this thing cleared and out of the way, we can be safe in here during raids. I think I should have used the Draugr Fang at this point. There's no point in for me and using uh, the other one, the Huntsman. Because I'm wasting arrows with that one. At least these, this one has some more damage, some more pep in his step. Now right here, I need to grab me some stone. In order to progress any further. Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab some stone. And by some, I mean like 40. <laughs> I kind of need 40. Okay, we're good. We can advance. Small baby steps in the planes. There are some monsters from the swamp right here. Ooh, I kind of need a base. Yeah, no, sorry guys, that's not gonna happen. You're not gonna be able to get me. Can I need a base here on the shore? So I don't wanna get wet. I wanna get away from the swamp as fast as possible so we don't get the wet debuff. Come on, these guys, they're always... Okay. Quickly, quickly. Right here, right now, I feel way safer than I did five minutes ago. Ooh, 
we've made it. I can actually feel safe in here. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is a thing that I haven't tested yet, and which is really dumb of me, and that is the AoE attack from the locks. I, I think that the AoE from the locks might actually go through this. But we'll have to test that. Can I get this guy? I just want him. Oh no. He's he's unhappy. Can I get this one? No. I just made them angry. Just made them angry. And that one's stuck though. We can take advantage of this. Wow, how much how much more do you need to take? Um sorry. How'd you get here? How how did a lock sneak on me? That one has to be close. These guys are so resilient. Or maybe he's bugged and he's too far away and the game does just doesn't register his... Uh, I might be wasting arrows at this point. Okay, and now there's a fueling coming right my way. Great. I really wanted this. With all my heart. What did I tell you guys? How much time has elapsed? Why the heck are you pushing yourselves up? Stay down there. Stay down there, please. So, uh, yeah, I'm being hunted. Not good. I think that Lox is bugged there. He might be dead. I'm gonna wait the event out. Get down, get down. See, they kind of push and they get higher and higher. Ah, uh, this is, this. I don't think this is possible, like... I'm sorry folks, but this is this won't be possible if we're getting super raided like this. This is a no-go. I know this makes for a great entertainment entertainment series with me uh Waiting to die every single second. And this event taking like five minutes. I just need to clear that base. If I could clear that base, that would give me another outpost. Oh my god, I'm flying through my arrows. Please, can I get over with this event? Can I get it? Thank you. Now I might need to get back to base, grab some more arrows, grab everything else that I need. Yeah, uh, it's high time that I do that. I can't have any single thing that is distracting me right now. So I'm just gonna grab the locks meat, if I can do that. Just a second here.
So what I'm doing right now is just going straight back home. We don't want to waste a single more second in here. Just gonna keep a sharp eye for the skittos. Oh god, this is worse than the mountain. Not... Not the boss itself. Oh, this is super convenient. So like I said, I'm not worried about the Agolith. If I was just to fight the Agolith, this would have been so much easier. All the preparation that needs to go into the Agolith, too. Woo. Okay. We can go and try tomorrow to uh, attack that uh, base. We're gonna have a ton of lox meat. So we can go for that base early in the morning. Where's all my... Oh, there it is. But so far... That was super lucky to have... Uh, to have the event while I was up there, because I would have got really panicky. Okay, so we can sleep on it, and first thing in the morning we can... Trace back and try to take down that uh, village, that feeling village. If I could get that done, I would be super happy for this episode. Because I can go from village to village, just get the totems and hopefully find Yagluth. If, if if it comes to that, I'm gonna keep sailing. Oh god, it's raining. Really? No, thanks. Didn't want this. I might need some extra arrows with me. Where are my arrows at? Are these all my arrows? You gotta be joking. This is how I prepare myself for the planes. Oh my god. Must be insane. So yeah, no matter what, I need to get back to the base. Good, good. That's what I wanted. So we need to go back to the base, grab food. I just want to take that camp. I know it's possible. Ooh, that was a super bad roll. That, that was a super bad dodge roll. But these guys are rendered useless with this armor. What the heck? How is this armor so powerful? Okay, and hold on a second, because I just got attacked by that Skeeto and did like 10 damage to me. <laughs> okay, that Skeetos are no longer a problem. Can we get an armor that does... that has slash resistance? If I can get that, I'd be super happy. No matter what, right now, I just want to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a locks on my ass right now, I don't want it. I might regret that arrow. I might regret that arrow. It's just you, it's just one of them, it's just one of them. Okay. So there's another one there that went berserk. Sorry for all the vibration, someone's called me right now at the most inappropriate time. Also don't know that this is the best time to be here in the plains. Oh, you've regained all your health. Good. Great. I'm happy. Imagine, I'm shooting this guy with the Draugr Fang with frozen arrows. Look at his HP. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of far away from their camp, which I don't like it. It's raining, which I don't like it. Can I aggro them like this? Yes, I can, but I think I'm too far away for for them to actually spot me. If I could drag them here, that would be amazing. Oh, 
<laughs> Who actually shot that guy? Wow. Well, one's down. Do they have a brute? Oh, come all you faithful, I guess. Am I saving? It's just three minutes have passed. That's a two star. Okay, we got their berserker. Oh god. How many more are in there? Because I know there has to be a lot of them. There's another berserker. This guy is coming slowly. What's happened? What happened, guy? <laughs> what happened, mate? Are you stuck or what? Uh, this feels safe. Just gonna land some more arrows in there. Oh, I should have brought my cart. I don't have my cart. To grab all the resources. Three of them. Are you kidding me? There are three berserkers. Oh, you're a spear thrower. Oh, pardon me, sir. I didn't notice. But yeah, like I said, that was a spear throw from a fueling. Oh my god, this armor is so overpowered. So, so overpowered. So now little baby steps. We need to do little baby steps. Back and forth. Back and forth to safety. Luckily with no uh, structures built by me, the likelihood of raids has uh, significantly decreased. I just don't want to be pinned down, you know, while the raid is going on. This is like a super, super large village, too. What have I done? I think I've aggroed them. Great job, mister. Great job. Now, I'm not going to talk too much. Because I want to listen very, very carefully here. I'm actually... Usually I have one headphone on. Oh no. That's another one. I have a tower in case a raid happens. So that's good. I'm not scared of their shaman. What's wrong with my aim? There's the shaman. Oh my god. He's gonna try and flank me. Okay, shaman's down. So, shaman's down right now. I do need to be up here. Okay. 
Who else is left in the village? Okay, who else, who else, who else? Of course they're gonna be here. Look at them. It's right here. It's gonna be far more of them here. Okay. Oh, they have a totem too. Oh my goodness. That's that's super good. That's super good. Oh, I just need my... Now I need my... Uh, what if I have 20 wood on me? I need my card here. Oh god. Who spotted me? Oh, you did. Okay, so no matter what, I need to come back here. Oh, you get two for one! Two double reses. Okay. And speaking of the devil, that's the second event in a row. Just one after the other. Like I said, they just want to kill me. The game just wants to kill me at this point. So no matter what, after this event, we'll have to uh, we'll have to bail. We'll have to get out of here. We'll have to really get out of here. Two events back to back, one after the other. Just like that. Look at them. Look at them piling down there. That's a tar pit. <sighs> my heart is pounding so, so bad now. So badly. This is my actual reaction. I'm super scared. <laughs> I just need to get, grab that little pile in the middle, grab the flax, gra grab the barley and get out of here. We, we need to make a small little uh, area where we grow crops. We might actually use this base just for events like this one. I need to gather some rocks again and uh, get on with it. Might use this tower for as a vantage point. Can this tower be destroyed though? Oh yes it can. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, so no matter what, just let me grab the resources here, place everything in the chat so they don't despawn. And go back to the base and figure everything else in the next episode. Because this is this is stupid. The second day, second uh, raid. They're just back-to-back -back raids at this point. There's no 15 minutes in between them. So we'll just save here. See, they also can climb a bit. The hunt is over. I have to tread super carefully here. I don't want to be down there. Come on, if there's just one wolf left, I can, I can do that. I can fight him off. I don't want more wolves. Watch another event starting before uh, this one ever ended, even ended. Okay, I need these, I don't need those. Let me just grab, grab the flax. The flax, the barley, everything, all the goodies. The sad thing is that you can't grow these at home, so you need to grow them here. That's a bit sad and unrealistical. Why would you need, why would you only be able to grow them here? That's, that's not how things work. But I've had worse, so um, quickly let's grab the barley too. I have what are worse experiences with the oh we can go fire resistance meads with game logic. What I, that's what I meant. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness gracious! Let's get back there because I can feel another raid. It's gonna start soon. So without this strategy, with two raids, with two wolf raids so far, I would have been super, super duper dead. What are you? Oh, just a Draugr. Imagine seeing a Draugr and and being like, oh, I thought it was a monster, but it's just a Draugr. I thought, it, I thought it was an actual danger, but turns out it's not. You guys gotta stop moving or I'm gonna lose all my arrows with you. Stop. You're not a problem. You're just pretending to be a problem. <laughs> You're totally not a problem. We 
can do this, folks. It's doable if we're gonna take itty bitty baby steps like this one. I feel like a baby now. So uh, I've tested these rocks. They can climb on these. They usually find a spot where they can climb on them. So right there or stuff like that, they can climb on these rocks. So that's a no-go. It's so hard to actually trace them, their steps. See, they just came here. So they can climb up here, they go like this, and if you, before you know it, they're uh, up on you. They're out to get you. This is a bit dangerous with four minutes of uh, rusted buff to, for me to be doing this. Okay, why, what can I drop? That's all I can drop now. That's all I can drop right now. Oh god. Please help me, help me traverse this water. Imagine having your raid right now. So that would be the uh, conclusion of this series. That would be raids. Raids can actually destroy you, they can totally obliterate your experience. So that was it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm actually gonna go and record the melee run now because that would feel like a walk in the park compared to this one. I feel so stressed at all times because I might die at all times and it's it's gone forever, it's gone for good. So uh, that was it. We got what, what we wanted or part of what we wanted. So uh, I don't know what I can do from here. I guess I'm gonna need to go back and craft a ton of frost arrows because there's no way we can do that. So I'm gonna hop on. Actually, we can squeeze that into this episode. Let me just get the rest of buff here. And we can go overnight back to the other base and grab more arrows. I'm also gonna have to do some hunting of serpents to grab more food. Yeah, so a lot of things need to be done off the camera or maybe even I'm gonna record beats and pieces of... of, um, of uh, my action with <laughs> with the serpents and my grinding because uh, I can't have you two or three episodes in a row where I just grind things so that would be that would be totally not pleasant to watch I guess so I'm gonna hop up on this boat and uh, I'll catch you when I get back to the other base and we're gonna end the episode right there now of course for sailing back home I do have the best the most optimal conditions as you can see Luckily, I can see the outline of the trees there. Like I said, this <laughs> this game really hates me. I would urge you to tell me what can you see. Please, let me know if you can see anything. Because I can't see anything. So I'm just backing away from the island. Can I, see, I, I can only see the top of the trees there. I'm backing away from the island, from all this fog, and hopefully I can land into the ocean where I can see my island a bit better. Because right now it's fog near the dark forest and I can't see anything. So I'm just backing away and backing away. Look at all that mist. I thought there was supposed to be mist only in the mist lands. Almost, oh, I almost landed near a troll. That is amazing. Now I know where to go. And uh, this is how we arrive home. Great visibility, you can see everything in front of you. And uh, yeah, we can see our base from here, all the amazing achievements that we've done so far. <laughs> I feel totally safe with this much visibility. I know exactly where I'm going. And I'm not afraid at all. Of the unknown. Looks like we're gonna crash into land. Pretty soon. I'm out of here. Let me grab a torch. I'm so out of there. Where's my road? Oh my god, I was on the road! Oh my god! See, this is what happens when you don't follow the trail. There was one reason why I had this road here all this time. For stupid foggy situations like this one. Ah, oh, this game and its ability to... I don't know. Raise my pulse. 
give me heart attacks. There are monsters fighting in the background, I couldn't care less. I could care about you, I like you. If I could actually land a shot on you, that is. So people, people write, monsters fighting in the background, I'm going through the night. Because I'm sure that nothing could go wrong while playing this difficulty. Oh, safe haven, safe haven. I can't believe we made it out alive from the planes, being raided twice by the wolves event. Oh, golly. Oh, we got, uh, we got raw fish. Can we cook the other fish too? Okay, so now we've got fish, cool. That was it for this episode. I have to farm more arrows, I have to grind more arrows, more food. But we've made a lot of progress, now I'm not afraid of planes, just because I know how to tackle them. So thank you all so much for being here, I'll catch you in the next episode with more planes, torment and adventure at the same time. Take care of yourself, much love from me, cheers.